everybody and welcome back to Pokemon Moon last time around we completed our first trial and today well we're gonna start off in mystery gift because there is there is a few mystery gifts for us to get via code or password so let's just go ahead and do that before well I don't know when when these will run out but uh, I haven't gotten them, gotten them yet, uh, so let's go ahead and get them. And for those of you guys that haven't gotten them either or just didn't know about them, I guess this is a way to also find out. So here we go. The first one is... Descent. There we go. Mewtwo Descent. Okay, that looks weird. Uh, just saying. Just saying. So... Yeah, I probably have a few things to mention. Probably the... Uh, well, you probably have seen uh, the last episode not too long ago, but uh, the episode before that. Well, first off, we get two Mewtwo Knight Mega Evolution Stones. The Mewtwo Knight X and the Mewtwo Knight Y. So the last episode, you, it probably wasn't that long ago for you, but... Uh, the other one, well, yeah, it was a really long time ago. It, things have happened in life, and uh, uh, I'll get to it. I, I explained a few of them earlier, well, in one of the earlier episodes, but uh, let's just let's just get, get this second uh, second password or code. Over with, and uh, this one is quite simple. It is just intimidate, and it's also for a couple of uh, Mega Evolution Stones, which, of course, in this game, well, we can't uh, we can't use them yet, or uh, you know, for a long, long, long time. Uh, intimidate. It's the password. Yes, intimidate. So, what I wanted to go over is that, uh, as I mentioned in one of my previous episodes, my mom has been home for the past, I think, two months now, because of stress, and it's just, just not been very nice for her, and uh, because of that, she's been sleeping a lot during the days. Uh, this is the usual time when I record between, probably, there's like a two hour two hour gap before I work that I can record during some of the weekdays and uh, this is one of them now because she is away at the moment and I haven't really wanted to bother her or wake her up so that is the main probably the main reason and uh, during the evenings I've just been so tired after work that I haven't really the only thing I've done is lay down in bed and watch YouTube videos or maybe even play some games. Uh, yeah, I don't know where Lily could have gone off, but uh, anyway, yay! We are, we are finally back in the world of Alola, and it's, and uh, let's actually go back into Pokemon Center to pick up our Mega Motion Stones. And also, I haven't really had a motivation recently, if I'm going to be honest, to record, even when I've had, uh, even when I've had the. Uh, the time to record because I don't know I just haven't really had the motivation but I'm hoping I'm hoping to get more back into the swing of things and now that uh, uh, next week she's going to start working a little bit for two hours at a time oh okay this is the first instance of <laughs> a Pokemon jumping out from berries and it's a crab brawler which I, I used uh, at some point in one of my first, uh, or my first playthrough of this game. Uh, and, I, and I found it quite fun actually to use. The only problem I have with Crub Roller really, is that it takes a while to get this evolution. And then I mean, a while or so. Anyway, uh, from these berry pals, there's... Only one Pokemon that can jump out of it, and it's Crab Roller. But anyway, I want to do. Uh, I'm hoping to get more back into the th swing of things as my mother is uh, uh, slowly getting back to work, working kind of two hours a day to just get, just to, well, get back into the swing of things since yeah, since 
since she hasn't really, well, done any working. <laughs> but anyway, I I don't really know what more to say about Spiro. Spiro. Uh, so I don't know at what at what point I'm going to get back into being more consistent again. But what I find kind of funny is that when I watched uh, the Jaywitz Let's Play of Pokemon Sun, he mentioned at one point that uh, he was making like one of the slowest uh, Let's Plays of uh, Pokemon Sun. But uh, just take a look at me. We're in April and uh, this is only the ninth episode. Jesus Christ. That's like two episodes a month. I mean, I didn't even upload anything in March even, so... What is even even? Uh, things has just been. God dang it! Things has just been crazy lately. But also, yeah, I, I guess I should say that I've that uh, my. Uh, let's see. How do I find the words again? How do I speak English? Uh, I'm going to be staying, the work that I'm doing right now, I'm going to be staying it for the entire, uh, uh, fall two, or, I, I've written a contract that says that I'm staying for, uh, the last of December, so, that basically means that I got an extension, so, I'm going to be continuing to, no, no encore for you, Katara, just encore for me! But I'm gonna be staying for the same work for the next six months. So it's pretty nice knowing what knowing what you're going to work with for uh, for the future. So that's pretty nice. Why are there so many flying type Pokemon after me? Hey, a trainer. Do you have preference about the type of moves in addition to the type of Pokemon? No, I'd like to keep a variety, but it is there is some preference and some Pokemon that I like more. And coincidentally, two of them are fairy type Pokemon. And none of them are Petalil. None of them are actually Petalil. Although, I consider Petalil to be uh, one of my Pokemon on my team, but I decided against it eventually. Eventually! Oh, that, that doesn't do very much damage at all. Well, fortunately for me, that uh, Mega Drain doesn't do very much damage at all. Okay, that, that's a little bit worrisome. That is definitely a little bit worrisome that uh, it's, do it's doing a bit of damage. So let's go for the echoed voice. Because I'm not. Ooh, that did 14 damage. Oh, I I'm, I'm going to be risky. It oh, echoed voice! Well, I wasn't necessarily quick love, but I'll. But I'll take it. Come on out. Yeah, baby! Yeah, Kitaran! Nice! More progress, please! I prefer to destroy my opponents. Even though that was not really a destroying of opponents, but whatever. I've got a bunch of potions, so let's just get... Let's just use these. There we go. So, what have you guys been, been uh, doing lately? As I said, I've been doing some work, but uh, I've also been playing some... Uh, Nintendo Switch or Exodus or the only game that I have on the Nintendo Switch, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And, uh, I, well, I don't know how far I'm into the game. Well, I, well, I know how far I'm into the game, but not percentage-wise. Percentage I've gotten one of the Divine Beasts, but it was a long time ago now, now that I did that. And, uh, I could have gotten much farther that farther or further than I am right now, but unfortunately, as soon as I got my Nintendo Switch, I played it for one and a half hours, then the console just broke on me, so I had to send it in for fixing, and three weeks it took, three weeks it took for me sending it in for me getting it back. I'm gonna shoot off the effects of abilities, well... I could have the ability of Cloud 9, which gets rid of the effects of, or it gets gets rid of weather. So, yeah, that 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 didn't work out very well for you, now did it? 
did it! Oh, 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 item, item! Need to get item! But I've had it now for a couple of weeks, and I gotta say, I'm really enjoying Breath of the Wild. Really, really enjoying it, actually. I mean, the time just flies by whenever you play it. Look at... It begins to play it, and then I look at the time like, whoa, it's been two hours already? Jesus. Yeah, let's just do one more side quest. Or, let's just get this uh, one more shrine. And then... Oh. Oh, that, 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 that's some rocks. I think it's like you yearning together with your Pokemon really soon is my soul. Thank you. Think I can live something. What is it? Oh, well, of course he said it was pretty soothing and he gets a soup bell. Or, get, get Oh, god dang it! Why you, why, why you gotta, why you gotta be like that? Why you gotta taunt me like that, game? Why? Oh, hello there. Kui? She's no trainer, yeah. So I don't think she could have gone too far on her own. Oh yeah, we're still looking for Lily. Whoops. Whoops. I'm I'm a trainer who uses the red card item. I want to be shaken by your strength. I want to face you when you've shown that. Haven't I? Well, I guess I missed some tra trainers on Route Three. But I know we're going down to Mele Mele Meadow. But uh, there's one trainer that I missed here on Route Three. Or. Haven't no, I don't. I don't think I've even went through went through uh, the entirety of Route Three yet. So I guess I think uh, that is one trainer that we'll get back to eventually. But we're heading into Mele Mele Meadow. Nebby, Nebby, come back. Emil, maybe we ran off into the meadow here. And right after it got into so much trouble on the bridge too. What if a wild Pokemon attacks it? Does it have any moves it can use to battle? Well that wouldn't be most of Hurry up and save Nebby already! God dang it, why you gotta take so long time? Why you gotta go and... Get this great ball, that is a very great man. Man, go save Nebby. Okay, fine then, Pokedex Rotom. Ooh, no, god dang it! Oh, would you look at this! We got ourselves a new Pokemon here. Well, Oricorio. Now, Oricorio has a few different forms. This one is electric type, so... Oh, well, fortunately for me, it decides to use Peck against me. Well, that doesn't bother me too much. It would bother me much more if it used something like this mo- No, okay. But it would be using Thundershock, but whatever. Let's see if we can catch- Oh, I'm actually kind of running low on uh, Pokeballs. Only got eight remaining. Oh, whatever. Let's see if we can get this thing. No, we can't! And finally we got it! It actually took four Pokeballs for me to get this thing. Not sure if it was worth it, but uh, I got it either way. Got it in my Pokedex, that's all that matters. It creates an electric charge by rubbing its feathers together. This is over its enemies and delivers shocking electrical punches. Well, how shocking. I want to send it to a box. Oh, honey! Oh, honey, honey. You are my candy girl. We got ourselves some yellow nectar, which I do believe it has something to do with the uh, Oricorio. Let's see. I do think it has flower nectar contained that changes. Uh -huh. Aha! Right. It changes the forms of uh, Oricorio. I I knew there was something uh, like that. And anyway, do we have? Uh, oh, look at all these Mega Evolution Stones that we will not be able to use. Oh yeah. Do we have? Yeah, there. Eleven. Okay, eleven repels. I'm fine with that. I'm definitely fine with that. Let's see. Oh, okay. This is where we're supposed to get off. Netball. 
Okay, that's good for catching bug type and war type. I'm gonna get a... My girlfriend always disappears somewhere. Maybe she's the type who can't help warming up when she spots something interesting. It's like a nebby! Can't be. No, no, that would just be plain out weird if nebby would be his girlfriend. No! He, he's looking for me. Makes me so happy to see him search for me. Proof of how much he loves me. Keep looking for me, baby! Well, it, he probably thought it would be. It's a little bit. Of, you're just a little bit of a nuisance that you just. It almost seemed a little bit annoyed, but uh, of course I couldn't hear his voice, so I don't know. Maybe he just finds it charming. I don't know. Oh, you. Pikachu? Thank you, Emil. And I should thank Brion too. Here, let me at least do this. You know, I read something interesting in a book once. Since the Pokemon called Oricorio changed its appearance by feeding on the nectar from different types of flowers. It's not actually evolving, but undergoing a so-called form change. Isn't that interesting? I thought it was anyway. Where does more, probably more interesting Pokemon that changes their form too. Like the space Pokemon, Deoxys. That once tried to destroy the world. Back into the bag. No! Don't go into the bag, Nebby! You're free now! I know there are many people around to see you here, but that's hardly an excuse! I guess we should be going now. The Professor will probably be worried after the way we just disappeared on him. No, oh, I want you to get back in there! Hey, 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 Emil! Oh, and Lil's with you too. What are you up to, how? Let's finish off my trial! Hey! Trial! Hey, Emil. I wanna see if I really learned anything from my trial. Let me battle you again! Herp. Well, that came out of nowhere, but whatever! Let's fight how our second fight against I and Ha! Ha! I mean, how, of course. And it's going to start off with a Pikachu! So. We're already in a little bit of a pickle here, so. Let's actually use Echoed Voice. Play nice. No, I don't want to play nice. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay, I'm fine with playing nice. Oh, okay, one more echo, echo voice should actually do it. Oh, Electro Ball. That could do some damage to Katara. Well, not, not too much damage, actually. I think Electro Ball has something to do with speed, too. There we go. Critical hit, even. Excellent job, Katara. Level 20. I'm actually uh, probably a much, much stronger than... Uh, than how right now. Basically because I've only got one Pokemon on my team right now. Well, part of the team, actually. Wait. Why did I do that? For some reason, I thought... I thought that the uh, Litten was dark. And it would just be normal. Or for some reason, I thought it would be super effective. I know uh, fairy types are strong against it. Why did I just use that? Go this is the scrubbiest battle I've ever had. Let's just go for a water gun. Which could have finished it off. A long time ago. There we go. I know fairy is super effective against dark, and for some reason, I thought it was also super effective against fire. Even though it resists fire. Oh man, I would show up my Pokemon's best side more. And I also wanted to do that. I, that was terrible. I want a rematch, how? Let's just rewind that. So you and me both beat that po totem Pokemon, huh, Emil? Looks like we're getting pretty strong. I wonder if I'll ever be able to beat my Gramps at this rate. Hey there, Emil. Yeah, I could count on you. Yeah. Thanks for tracking Lily down for me. Yeah. What's this then? How? You finished your first trial too? Yeah. I bet you use some styling moves. Yeah. <laughs> right. Hollow's probably rubbing his hands together in glee right about now. Oh, yeah. What do you mean? It's all part of the trials, yeah? After you clear one- No! He's rubbing off on you! Don't say yay all the time! How? It's just gonna be annoying after a while! After you clear one island's trials, you gotta battle that island's Kauna. Taking on the island Kauna in battle is called the Grand Trial! For someone like me who sweet certain Pokemon moves, nothing could be better than the chance to see some more fierce Pokemon battles. Woo! I don't know about fierce. I'll be the judge of that! Come on! Back to Ikki Town! Catch a tailwind and blast through Route 3! 
Well, that doesn't really look like blasting through row 3. But I want to head back into Mele Mele Meadow. Because... There... Oh, I don't know if I can actually ex explore the entirety of the place that I'm looking for. But uh, I guess... I guess we'll find out. It doesn't really hurt to go exploring. Oh, there's some nectar. Some more nectar. Now, what I've also been playing recently, uh, except for Breath of the Wild, it's actually Pokemon Go! Yeah, I know that that is still a thing. Wait. Wait. Ah! Ha! Okay? Oh! An oric, 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 oric. Hello there. Probably not going to get a better picture than that, but I've also been playing Pokemon Go as I said. Just, it's just been nice just taking a walk uh, in uh, downtown uh, Beespy and uh, in the harbor because that's that's where all the Pokestops is at and that's all where the, all the rare Pokemon is at. And I, you know, I've just I've just found it relaxing and just fun to just walk around, catch some Pokemon, listen to some music and whatnot. And sometimes my brother has uh, come with me because he's been home for the past uh, couple of months because... Or past months or weeks. I think this is cooler. Uh, because usually he's away for two weeks and he gets home for one week. But then now he's been home for many... You get this a B minus. Ray, ray of sunshine. God dang it. That is not a ray of sunshine. It's free night time outside. Total 10,000. Okay, I'm not doing that right now. But yeah, sometimes he's been walking with me and it's just been nice, you know. Sometimes even the dogs have come with us. Uh, sometimes even the dogs. I know where I'm walking. Oh, God dang I think I know when I'm walking, where I'm walking anyway. It's over here, it's really difficult to see during the night time, and actually on the screen. You just have to know where this is at. It is the Sea Word Cave! And, uh, yes, said earlier, I don't think I can explore quite the entirety of it, but I can explore a little bit of it. Yeah, as you can see, there's water here, and we can't do anything about water yet. So, we can go downstairs, though. I can't go down. Do I want to jump down there? I don't think so, actually. Okay, the dog can't go over there. Oh, item! Never melt the ice! I don't have any ice types, ice type moves right now. So, can't really... That's no of no use to me. If I'm going to be completely honest. And I hope I am. And we also have a hidden star piece right there. Pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, speaking up items left, right, and center. And here we have the exit to the Kala A Bay. Now uh, there there's also water water here, so I probably should have waited to to get to this place because there's Yeah, there's really nothing that we can do, so that was almost Almost a waste of time. I, I just got a few items. So, I'll see you guys back up on uh, Route 3. And we are now back onto Route 3. So, we can finally cross this bridge. Finally, and finally also. Over here is the place. Well, on this route anyway. Well, of course you'll see it in the bios, but uh, this is the place where we can finally catch. Bag on! So for those of you guys that have waited to catch a really good Pokemon, this is the place to find one. And also, we haven't actually seen this... Well, I don't think we've seen this in action. It was such a long time ago that I recorded our last episode. But uh, we saw in the trial, we saw that a Pokemon could send for help. And uh, now other wild Pokemon can do that. Every single wild Pokemon can do that. So, now in the bios, I will show you guys every single Poke... Well, not every single, but every single Pokemon on that route that is exclusive to these 
as they are called SOS battles because there are some really rare ones, some really, really good ones. And down here we have Icky Town. And we find ourselves a super potion. Pretty nice. Is that in the entirety of Route 3? No, it is. No, no, it's not! <clears throat> because we got some berries over here. And no crab brawler for us this time. Oh well then, that doesn't really bother me too much. I think crab, crab brawler was just fun to use, you know? You know, but uh, at some point it just, it just got a little bit... Uh... Hey kid, you're welcome, okay, right? From around here? I think I want to... Okay, alrighty then! That's a lot of fear. You're so nice over here, I'm actually I'm here on my honeymoon! My beautiful bride has completed four footed Pokemon you have here called Rockra! She just can't get enough of its curly little tail and that rocky fur around its neck. Where you can find them in 10 carat hill. I'm really lost here. Uh, yes, I could go to 10 carat hill and they'll pay me for the asshole, but unfortunately, we can't get to uh, 10 carat hill right now and no. Didn't want to go uh, back down there. Because there are. There is that uh, trainer that he said had a red card, so. Let's go and fight him and see what a red card is all about. Because I think that was every single trainer. Yes, I have. There was only three, tr three trainers. Shall we start? Let's have a soul shaking bell. I refuse. I accept. That is a good reply. I was sent before you as a red card user. So let's see what his red card is all about. Is it? Is he going to send off my Pokemon? Oh, uh, speaking of the devil, here we have a rock rough. So, well, if you would be a nice person, you could actually go down and talk to that guy down there. But of course, you're a trainer, so you're stuck in this place here. So you can't show that uh, guy down there a uh, rock rough to make his girlfriend happy. When I slow poke. Okie dokie then, uh, let's see, have we, no we haven't fought one of you yet, so, let's go for the echoed voice, it will take a few of these, but, uh, I will eventually, it will eventually go down, oh, go for the oh here comes the red card, no it actually sends out my Pokemon, god dang it, Makuhita, no, oh no, please, please, Please don't be like this, Slowpoke. Uh, let's actually send Katara back out. And there's something that I just gotta mention really quickly that I've had on my mind for a while about this game is that up until the first trial, it, it is a slow start in my opinion. Almost as slow as Slowpoke. I mean, it takes a while for the game to really get going. I mean, in my opinion, it's like until the first trial that things really get going because first off, well, you got you got the trainer school and there's just a lot of tutorials. There's, I think it's just a slow start. But that's just my opinion, well, me and my brother's opinion that I've spoken to about uh, this game, but I mean, other than that, we really get go- no, take it. no, no. I'm not using you, so he says something about diamonds! Because there's diamonds in the sky. It's a fine battle indeed. So, here we go, he gives myself a, myself a red card! I'm sent off! Effects of the red card, the RS are illustrated to you in battle. You will likely find our trainers like me on the brows of a lower lap. Searching for strength. Touching them together with your Pokemon would not be a bad reason to take a journey. To take a journey, so don't stop believing. Hold on to your feelings. So anyway, now that we have done that, we're done for now on Route 3. There's still a little bit more to do over there, but now we're back on Route 1. The number one route on the spectrum. So... Next time on Pokemon Moon, we'll be heading back to Icky Town and meet with Hala. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. 
to be honest, I don't think when the next when I'm going to be able to record the next episode, but hopefully it's not going to be as long as the last time, which was about a month ago that I recorded the last episode. But anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for for watching. Thank you very much for staying with me. But anyway, I. We'll see you guys next time. You are all awesome. Just remember that. Good. Bye.